here we are at the uh, at the winter time uh, here's my setup for these games I've just got the tinderbox axe hammer knife some cakes I'm not really sure how many cakes to bring in um, we'll figure it out as as the games kind of commence uh, I've got two pieces of the clue hunter outfit on apparently that should be enough to just make it um, you know hit me for a one but uh, my public chat is off which is a necessity at this place and uh, we'll check back in when we've got you know maybe every like five or ten crates or something in every like ten fire making levels able to sneak in an update before this next winter Todd game we have gained 11 uh, fire making levels We've gained 10 fletching levels, 3 construction levels, gotten a bunch of, uh, of um, like supplies and stuff, but no, uh, no what are they called, uh, pieces of the pyromancer uniform yet. But uh, we will keep going, and I'll check back in around 70 fire making. Still terrible at recording, but uh, there's 70 fire making. Uh, we'll open the supply crate real quick. Yeah, no. So that has been 45 uh, uh, Winter Todd KC. No items whatsoever. No, uh, not even a broom and torch, gloves, boots, none of, none of the pyromancer, any of that stuff. But um, I'm at the 83K out of the 200K recommended. I've got all these supplies. I got some burnt pages, so I guess that counts. My bank's a mess. I'll, I'll clean it up later. But um, yeah, that's the uh, 70. Uh, the 70 fire making check in. We've also got um, 34 fletching up from 15 and 25 construction up from 20. So I'll check back in at uh, 80 fire making. So we're not at um, 75 fire making yet. We're at 72. But I just started using the Winter Todd Scouter, which I don't know if I can pull that over. Does it? No, it doesn't. Um, Essentially what it does is it um, it shows you the health of all of the uh, win other worlds where Winter Todd is occurring, right? So you can kind of just like jump around and as long as the game is usually above like 55, 60% health, um, you should be able to to get enough for the for the reward crate. So I've got 10 of them here, so I figured I'd open them while recording, see if I can get anything really remember I need everything from the crate so we'll start here no no this is about how it goes yep there's some more burnt pages okay pretty standard so absolutely nothing but that's essentially what I do is this is my inventory and I take in like four cakes and then I just kind of hop around um, from world to world. And it works pretty well. So I'll check back in at 80 fire making. Apologize in advance if you can hear the, uh, the landscaping outside. But we've got uh, 75 fire making. Um, that's magic logs. So we've also got eight crates here. So we'll start going through them. Still no pyromancer outfit. So, oh, there's a broom of torch. Fantastic. So we've got one item from the uh the set but that does mean that we can drop the uh the tinder box so that makes this a little bit easier um or a little bit um more convenient because we've got an extra uh inventory space so i will put this tinder box back and then we will take out four cakes and we will jump back in there, 126k out of the 200k. I'm still not sure if I'll stay here beyond the 200k or not. Excuse me. But uh, so we'll we'll see when we get there. But uh, I'll catch you guys back probably around 80 fire making. I just want to record this because if I had a better computer, I would run in HD mode all the time. I mean, look at how cool this looks. And that's well screwed up a little bit there, but this looks amazing. I love the lighting, I love the shadows. I would exclusively play this game in this mode if I could. So I'm not yet at uh, 80 fire making, I'm at 79 now, but I wanted to point out that I just hit the 200K mark uh, for GP, which is where I was supposed to stop. 
Um, I, I don't think I'm going to stop. I think I'm going to keep going. I'm still enjoying it. Uh, we'll see how, how high I get, but, um, in the meantime, from 50 to 79, uh, fire making, we got, uh, three, I think three, almost four wood cutting levels. We got 30, uh, fletching levels, uh, from 15 to 45. We got nine construction levels, almost 10. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty decent all around XP as everybody already knew we'll open these. Yep. That's what I thought. Um, so I'm going to stick around. I, I don't know how much, oh, and I got a pair of warm gloves. Um, so it, I think I'm at like 108 or nine, uh, Casey, um, with just the warm gloves and the, uh, the broom and torch. So I'll keep going, and we'll see what I can get and when and if I stop. I think 85 fire making is like the last like requirement for clues and stuff because you could boost to 90, but who knows? Maybe I'll go all the way to 99. I've never had 99 fire making, so uh, it could be like a cool milestone to hit, but it all depends on how I feel. So I missed the level as, as I am want to do, but uh, there is 85 fire making right there. Um, so I went and got the, um, the Christmas or not the Christmas, the Halloween outfit, um, because, uh, apparently when you hit 56 fire making at 10 HP, which I am, uh, you can only take ones from the fire. So you don't even need any fire protection. And all I got was the broom and torch and the warm gloves. And I've just been banking all of the, um, all the crates anyway. So. I wanted to check back in at 85 fire making. We've got 55 wood cutting, uh, 52 fletching, 34 construction. And then I've been organizing my bank a little bit whenever I can. But um, as for crates, yeah, we just got all, all these crates now. I guess I can kind of organize it a little bit better. But um, from everything I've read online, basically, after you hit your 200K, um, you basically just bank crates until 99 or until you um, like need and then open them when you need bank space. So if I had to guess, it's probably like 550 games to uh, 99. I'm at 176. I've decided I'm probably going to stay for it just because I've never done it before. Um, and that would be pretty cool. So um, it may be a while before our next update. I'll check back in at 90. Um, but yeah, going well so far. It should be 90 fire making at, uh, any moment now. We're 3.6 experience away. So I'm not sure if I'll stop and do a bank check right now. Uh, I'm kind of in a good, like, loop of hopping worlds using the Winter Todd Scouter to, uh, ensure I get that, you know, like, optimal XP drop. So, um, I might catch up, uh, a little bit later. Oh, there it is. 90 fire making redwood logs. Um, yeah, I might, I'm, I might just, uh, record a little bit later once I run out of food and I, I have to bank and then I'll, I'll show all of my stats and where I'm at and, um, uh, all of the other, uh, accoutrements that come with. 95 making. This is a terrible clip. Okay, well, devastatingly, I was right in the middle of finishing up the final round of Winter Todd that I was going to do, and I opened up the OBS, and it crashed my client. So I got to figure out why that happened so it doesn't happen in the future. Um, but uh, I just finished a major uh, couple rounds of Winter Todd. This is the most I ever die. I would have had um, was this 8, 10, 11, 12, but again, died. But as you can see, quite a, quite a, a collection of crates. Um, running low on cakes, going to have to head back to Thieve More at the, um, pretty soon. But, uh, as for stats, we are at 90 fire making, 58 wood cutting, 58 fletching, and 40 construction. Now, I've been doing every five levels uh, check-in, but uh, I think I'm going to switch it to every two because the levels are going to be uh, further in between. Um, so I'll continue checking in. Still going strong, still enjoying this. Um, 
I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go to 99 because I've never gotten it before and it'd be cool to have. So uh, should be, I think I calculated like 30 more hours of, of Winter Todd. So it'll be a while. I, I don't get uh, that much time to do this. So it, it should be a long time from now, but uh, I will get it done and then we will move on with the Osiris guide. But for now, heading back into Winter Todd and I will check back in at 92 fire making. Any minute now should be uh, level 92 fire making. I should be getting it at the end of this round. So um, that would put us at the halfway point, as everybody knows, between uh, level 1 and level 99. So just got to do this whole thing over again. There it is, level 92. Uh, I have played 325 games of Winter Todd. I am running dangerously uh, low on cakes, so I'm going to have to go thieve some of those. So the next clip, most likely me uh, back in Artie. Got down to about uh, six cakes, so I, I am back here to thieve some more. So I've been trying to do some, some math on exactly how many cakes I'll need and how long this grind is going to take me. So what I, what I think I've come up with, I looked it up, I think it's from 50 to 99 is about 530 games, I believe, is like the peak that it could be. Um, and as you can see right here, I'm at uh, 338. So I need 200 more games or so to get to 99 from, I'm now like almost halfway through 92. So what I've noticed is I take five cakes in every time and I get about 10 crates. So if I assume that every five uh, cakes that I get will get me 10 crates, which then is 10 games. If I need 200 more games, then I need uh, 100 cakes. So I might put that up on the screen or something just to make you know it a little bit clearer. But um, so I'm gonna be here for probably uh, until I, I have like six cakes in the inventory in my bank, so I might stay here until I guess 100 cakes in my bank, so um, I don't know how many thieving levels that'll get me, but I'm about to get 28, so uh, we'll check back in when I'm all done. Gonna get a thieving level right here, that's gonna be 30 thieving. Um, I'm just about done with uh, this little mini kind of uh, restock. Uh, I have, I think, after this, like 120 cakes, so even if I, I need more than the 100 that I guessed, um, I should be should be all set, so I'm just gonna dump these in the uh, in the bank, grab uh, all my stuff, head back to Winter Todd, and we will jump back uh, with 94 fire making. Any minute now should be the next level. This will be 94 fire making. Uh, yeah, man, really close. Oh, there it is. 94 fire making, five levels away from 99. Still feeling good. Still going strong. Um, Next check-in will be 96 fire making, other stats, 61 wood cutting, 63 fletching. Getting a lot of fletching levels uh, doing this grind. Did not expect to get that many, but uh, less less construction than I thought. But, uh, you know, it, it's all good. I don't mind mahogany homes. So uh, check back in in a long time with uh, 96 fire making. Any minute now should see us getting 96 fire making. Uh, these levels are getting super long, <laughs> uh, very, very difficult. I was feeling good from like, you know, 50 all the way there it is, 96 fire making. I was feeling good all the way from like 50 to 88, uh, and then once we got in the 90s, I mean, oof, a million XP. Um, yeah, it's it's a lot to, uh, to the next level, but uh, I'm so close. I'm not going to give up now. We're going to keep going. Um, we'll look at some other levels real quick. Uh, 62 woodcutting, 65 fletching. I've gotten a lot more. I think fletching, I mixed up fletching and construction. Fletching will probably be close to like 67, almost 70. And then construction um, probably will be around 47 or 48 when we're done. But I um, have a ton of, uh, of crates. Might need more cakes. May have underestimated uh, how many I would need to finish out this grind, but uh, if I do, then you'll see me back in uh, Artie, thieving more. So uh, we'll we'll see what happens in the future.
Coming in hot right here with what should be 98 fire making. So one level away from the big 99. Let's take a look. 1.2 million. Okay, that's that's a lot of winter Todd. So uh, as I expected, I uh, miscounted the amount of cakes that I would need. I think yeah, I'm at 548 uh, games of winter Todd. I thought I'd be done by 550. Turns out I was way off. Um, so I'll probably just go get another like 70 cakes or something, get a few more uh, thieving levels. So that'll probably be what you see in the next clip. Well, here we are, 98 fire making, 199 experience away from level 99. I did not end up needing to go back for cakes. I ended up perfectly, I think I have like two thirds of one left. And I use a little bit of bread as well. But here we are. Without further ado, this should get us. Ninety-nine fire making. I have never had this level before. This is really, really cool to get. Um, especially on on like an account that I'm making videos for. So we will go to Ignatius, south of Sears Village, and get our uh, fire making cape, but, but, it costs 99,000 GP, and I, I only have like 200 something K, which the guide says I need, but because we have all those, uh, crates in the bank, I figure I might as well open some of them until I get, you know, 300 K GP so I can buy the, uh, so I can buy the, um, the cape, because why not? I've got all these crates. I've got just an endless, endless amount of crates. So I'm going to open them until I get 300 KGP, and then I'll stop, and then we'll go get the cape. Um, and I will keep this rolling and just kind of, you know, speed it up and then fast forward over it uh, into, in, in, until I get something interesting, if I do. So we'll check back in with that. Okay, so as you can see, I got absolutely nothing of interest. Um, good thing I didn't keep opening those crates. I got one extra pair of warm gloves, which I, I'm going to keep in my bank, because I think if you get, like, three pairs of warm gloves and three Bruma torches, then you get, like, a higher roll on the, on, the, um, on the crates when you get a higher level. So anyway, huge letdown, but uh, I am going to uh, grab that money head south of Sears Village, and I will see you then. Right, here we are. I thieved a few cakes on the way because I think I might need them for the future, so here we go. If he will slow down, can I help you? I would like a skill cape of fire making. 99,000 coins. That seems reasonable, and there it is. We put it on, and we have ourselves the first skill cape on this account. Now I believe we we have to do a little emote. Oh, I get a little strange plant as well. All right, wonderful. Well, so here we are. Um, 99 fire making, like I said, I've never gotten this before. Um, so it's super exciting. It should be useful for the account. Uh, it's got, you know, I, I think it's got like a Prayer. I thought it had a prayer bonus, I guess not, but it's got all these defensive bonuses and uh, it acts as a light source in caves. So we probably will be wearing this nonstop. So without further ado, I believe we go to Lumbridge. In Lumbridge, we grab some uh, extra runes from the uh, Magic Tutor. And now we are going to buy these buckets and one bucket pack from this general store. Merc this chicken real quick. It missed. Safe spotted him though. Oh boy. Okay, we got it. No, nope, we didn't. Oh, this is not going well. Okay. <laughs> Just hit him. Alright, there it is. 
to his meat. Grabbed an egg from the farm, and now we're going to wind strike one of these guys to death. Take its, uh, take its meat as well. Presumably for the, um, the Herblore quest that has you, like, uh, like Druidic Ritual, uh, which has you, you know, collecting all these meats, like, you have to get a bear one, too. But, uh, oh yeah, there's three magic. All right, well, we'll grab this, and then we'll reconvene. Grab some milk from the dairy cow, three buckets worth, I believe, and then we will head off to Drainer, uh, no. Yeah, we're going to Barbarian Village. Rocked up to Barbarian Village, and now we are going to grab, I guess, the stuff for Dwarf Cannon. So let's go to Ice Mountain. Grabbing the ammo mold and the notes for Dwarf Cannon. They should be, yep, they're right there. Uh, now we're going to head back to Drainer. Go ahead and start Gertrude's cat here. I already have the, uh, the Dougal weave. Oh, God, what was that? Talk to Romeo for Romeo and Juliet. Talk to Gypsy Eris for Demon Slayer. Got the two keys for Demon Slayer. Now we're off to do Shield of Arav. This should be Shield of Arav completed as soon as I give him the certificate. 600 GP, and there it is. Right, that was very difficult. <laughs> if you're going to do this in the future, I recommend um, going... Uh, black arm because there's a lot of phoenix gang members all right let's uh let's do some shopping fire staff newspaper gloves and a pink skirt rotten tomato and we will wash it all down with a drink from the bar crawl now we are off to i, I have i have zero attack defense strength and smithing and smithing um now we are off to the museum to do the quiz and get, uh, I think it's like level 9 Hunter and Slayer. This should be the end of the, uh, yep, there it is. Alright, 9 Hunter, 9 Slayer. We should be getting it, alright, 9 Hunter, 9 Slayer. Kind of a drag at those early levels, so it's good to just get that out of the way. Steal some tea. Finally give this man Aubrey his package that I've been running around with for forever. And, uh, and then we'll buy some, uh, we'll buy some runes from him afterwards. I am so dumb. I accidentally bought chaos runes. Oh. Oh, that hurts. That's all my money, all 200,000k gone. I have no idea what I'm going to do now. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. I have to think about this. All right, well, I'm opening boxes again to get my 200k back and there's a Pyromancer shirt, so finally got one of those. <sighs> Alright, well that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, I'm still down a whole lot of money, but I mean, I've got the crates, and realistically, I mean, I, I didn't want to open them all until, you know, I, I had like higher stats, but I only opened like 25-ish minutes. Oh, look at this adorable little dog. Let's give him a little pet. There you go. Uh, there, there's still enough, and, like, realistically, it's not going to change my account too much to not, like, be able to, you know, have all of those, all, those 25 crates weren't going to make that big of a difference. And I finally got the magic logs for Desert Treasure, so that's good, too. Get a drink for the bar crawl. Easy task complete, and we are off to do Gertrude's cat. Sent Gertrude's cat home, but now we're grabbing some, uh, red berries and cadaver berries. 16 red berries to be exact. All right, here is Gertrude's cat. Uh, I got a little kitten, which is adorable. Uh, cooking level 12. I, not as adorable, but I'm going to feed this from presumably the sardines that I bought earlier, so that'll be good. Easy enough, that's 13 magic. Fire strike, man, look at all these levels just sitting right there. All right, I'm not going to stay here for that. We're going to head off to Falador. Kill this bear here for its meat, presumably for the, uh, the Druidic Ritual quest. Grab a drink for the bar crawl here. And also we're going to buy five wizard mine bombs. Going to grab some woad leaves here. Um, eight of them, I believe. And then we're going to go to Witch's House and Druidic Ritual. So in, uh, for the sake of time, we'll just catch back up when those two are done. Witch's House complete. See, the nice thing about having 99 uh, 
fire making is that I don't have to worry about this like hit points thing if I ever want to go back to Winter Todd. I do want to go back to Winter Todd though. Uh, I want to do the combat achievements at some point. Oh, my dog just woke up. I want to do the combat achievements at some point. Um, the Jagex mentioned they were like changing something about them, like to be a point space system rather than just like complete every single one in the easy, medium, you know, whatever. Uh, and there's only three that I didn't do there. Let's uh, combat tasks easy. I can also make this like easier to to find. What am I looking for? Winter Todd. Yeah, this is not very. Uh, the Pyromancer after they've spawned can't do that until after Druidic Ritual. Uh, subdue the Winter Todd with four pieces of warm equipment. Don't have that. Uh, and why Fletch subdue the Winter Todd after earning 3,000 or more points? So, I think with the fire making cape, the top, the warm gloves, and the boots, um, I think that counts as four pieces of warm clothing. Uh, and then once I do this Druidic Ritual, I can make the potion, so... I guess I could go back. I probably won't until I have an easy teleport or I'm there already for other we uh, any other reason because it's you know kind of a long walk just to finish out the uh, the combat achievements. But and and next time I get a uh, or once I get a games necklace, uh, I will go back and do those. You forget how easy these uh, early quests are, but uh, here is. Druidic Ritual done. All right, so now I can, like I said before, at any point go do the um, the Winter Todd combat achievements, but I won't do that until I'm back there for whatever reason. All right, we got a uh, our inventory all set up for the next few quests we're doing. Right now we're going to finish up Witch's Potion, and then uh, I think we're going to do the Knight's Sword. Easy enough, there is Witch's Potion. 17 magic, right on. Heading uh, down into the uh, Asgardian dungeon to mine two Blurite for the Knight's Sword. Uh, I've got some cakes, so I don't know if anything in here will be like uh, uh, aggro towards me, but I've got cakes and a Chronicle Teleport just in case. I accidentally used my uh, uh, Tele tab earlier because I, I didn't talk to the right person I thought I had to start the quest by talking to the squire, but it turns out I did that already, and then I had to go talk to Reldo, actually, so I used my uh, Falador tab incorrectly, and this is honestly the worst part about the early game, is just, like, having to walk everywhere. It's 12 and a half minutes for your run to recharge. It, there's no teleports anywhere. All you've got are your mini game and your home teleport, which I've used already, so the Night Sword especially is just a walking simulator back and forth from Mud skipper point to Falador. So, this will take me about 10 minutes. This should be. Alright, there's the Knight's Sword, and that is 29 smithing. 1 to 29 very easily. Uh, I can see why everybody does this uh, quest super early now. Alright, my kitten is hungry, so we are going to uh, feed it real quick, and then we will head to. Uh, Alcar. Knock out a little diary task while we're here. Grab some uh, anchovies from the uh, south of Alcard Bank, and we are off to uh, to do the tourist trap. All right, and there is the tourist trap done. Uh, earlier, I I used the two um, XP lamps on agility, as you can maybe see down here. The kitten status might be blocking it, but. Yeah, there's 20, from 1 to 26 agility, so that'll be really nice. Real quick detour to grab 15 cooking, which means I can now cook trout. Okay, well, that took a while. Um, shout out to the Jagex launcher for making hopping worlds much easier. But uh, that's 600 uh, soda ash and buckets of sand, and now it's time to mine some clay. I know this is a uh, very different clip than what you probably were expecting. Uh, I ended up doing a, a lot of stuff over uh, over the weekend uh, on mobile. Um, so uh, let's recap all the things that were missed. So I believe the last thing I said I was going to do was going to go mine some clay um, for, uh, for the guide. I did that. Uh, I uh, did Firestrike on a bunch of the imps. 
um, got all the beads for Imp Catcher. I, uh, I then went and did Fight Arena and Trinome Village, got 35 attack. Um, I safe spotted Zamorak Warriors, I got a Rune Scimitar, it's not in the inventory right now. I got a drink from the Artie Bar for the Bar Crawl. Um, I bought some compost, and now I'm here training magic all the way up to 42, and I think that's where I'm going to call it for this video. So we will pick up probably right here in the next one um with 42 magic so thanks again for watching i really appreciate it if you are watching um and uh yeah i'll see you in the next video